Good morning, everyone. It is Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me, and I just got back from a walk with my husband here in Utah. It is super cold and windy, and let me tell you, I was kind of asleep. I am wide awake now. Well, welcome to my channel. I'm so grateful that we get to spend a few minutes together, and I am so excited about today's savings challenge. I love all things flowers, and I am ready for some flowers. <laughs> I'm ready for some beautiful spring weather, and it looks like we still have a few more snowstorms. But anyways, here is this beautiful flower um, envelope, and if you like Color Me um, savings challenges, this is the perfect one for you. As you color in each bouquet um, space, you're going to add that money to your envelope, and at the end, you will save $132. So there's nothing higher on this than a $5 bill. And it's one through five. And so this is a really fun, doable, cute spring savings challenge. Now, I know some of my subscribers do not see my shorts. So I just want to share with you what I um, put up yesterday. So yesterday, there was the elephant savings challenge. And this is just, I think, so cute. With this challenge, you actually get this one that you can customize it and make each elephant worth whatever amount. And then this one's kind of fun because it's numbered 1 to 20. And when you save all that up, I think it's like 300 and something dollars. So there's that. And oh, did I have the envelope? I hope so. Let's see. I don't have the envelope in my pile. Maybe. Oh, here we go. And here is a darling envelope. So if you love envelope, if you love <laughs> elephants, um, this is available at the Happy Mailbox Co. Okay, here we go. Now that we got the savings challenge for the day taken care of, I want to show with you another thing that I wanted to do and have things be a little bit fun. This savings uh, challenge is by uh, Donna powered by creativity and she's the lady that I got the idea of creating a new savings challenge every day in the month of March because she did that in uh, the month of February but um, I save money for all my grandkids I have seven and one that will be here within a few weeks and they each have their own envelope from grandma each week, I normally stuff off camera money in their envelope, and at the end of the year, I take all that money, I put a love note in it, and I seal it up, and I save it for them. Um, and I just thought that this um, would be a fun way to save for them. I'm going to do a savings challenge, and when it's complete, then I'll just divide their money up. So I have not done a like a, a dollar or a buck uh, challenge. So I thought I would do Donna's. So there is A for Ariel. And this will be for the girls. And this is B for the boys. So with that in mind, let's go ahead. I went to the bank and I got 51s. And what I'm to determine if it's a B buck or an A buck, you look at this letter right here. Oh my. Donna, I need one L for Lisa so I can do mine. But anyways, um, I'm going to go through. And if there's an A buck or a B buck, we're going to color it in and put it in my grandkids' envelope, which these have envelopes as well. I need to cut mine out and have it ready. So I'll have it ready for next time. And then the rest of the money will go into my binders. So here we go. L, E. And I don't know if um, A and, um, I don't know, oh, there's lots of E's. I don't know if A and B are rare. Okay, there's a B one. So we'll put that there. Let's keep going. I go through these kind of fast. So we're looking for A and we're looking for B. All right. Okay. Wow. These might be harder to find than I thought. And as she, oh, here's another B one. As Donna comes out with the all the different letter ones, I think I'm going to get them 
and then you know do these for different people in my family okay here we go well so far in all fifty dollars we've only found two but that is the fun it's all about the hunt it's all about the journey okay here's another b one awesome g f l and l oh my no a bucks gosh darn it so today in our bambi let's save b bucks we have three dollars so it looks like the boys are winning girls oh my <laughs> This kind of makes me smile. All right, I'm going to color in three of these, and then I will add that to the envelope. So if this is something that you um, think is cute, which I don't know how you wouldn't, and think it would be fun to do, you should head on over to Donna's uh, Etsy shop, and also head on over to her YouTube channel, where you can see all the things that she created in the month of February, and um, I'm grateful for her idea. It's kind of brought back some creativity in my life <clears throat> to do the challenge in March. Okay, there's that. Well, it is time to stuff. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to take a drink really quick. There we go. Now it's time to show some of these um, some love. So let's start off with my girl power challenge. This is a savings challenge that I love so much. There's just something so cute about it, something empowering, so darling. So this is the March one, and I think we're gonna do $10. Let's see, I need something to hold this down. We'll put that there for a minute. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten ten dollars will go into the girl power challenge and um i just love this envelope let's see how much is in here now oh goodness let's see if we can get this money going all the right way so there's 20 25 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 and 40 okay that's awesome and let's color in oh i think i was doing pink maybe let's just continue on with pink here we go all right in the month of march um if i color all these in i will have saved 160 dollars and this whole challenge book, when it is done, is over $1,900. So it is a very powerful, very fun, very sassy savings challenge. Okay, moving along. It is time to show my flower challenge some love. And let's get to the month of March. So each of my icons for this is $5. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Let's start off with that, and maybe we'll show it some more love. We'll see. Okay, since it's St. Patrick's Day soon, I'm going to do some green flower, a green flower here. I'm excited for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to make little baskets and drop them off at my kid's house. And, of course, you all, if you've been listening, know that <laughs> I'm going to be um, doing Lucky Charms and like just some different green items and there i'm so lucky to have them in my life because i am so i should have 5 10 15 20 25 there's 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 25 25 dollars this um binder when it's completed equals over 700 dollars i can't remember the exact amount but so it's a good little amount as well. All right, there's that one. Now let's show some Easter love here. Um, I just finished the March one last time, and so now it's time for Easter. So for Easter, I have this um, savings challenge, and then I have a big one that I'm doing from uh, Busy Lizzie's Budgets, which is her daughter's. Okay, let's see how many dollars we have. One, 
two, three, four, five. That's awesome. There's one. One, two, three, four, five. Two, two, three, four, five. Three, two, three, four, five. That's four. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to Girl Power and put the rest of that in, but I get to color in four Easter eggs. I was gonna have each of these be worth 10 instead of five, but because I have the other bigger savings challenge, I think that I'm just gonna keep them at five. So there's five, 10, and here's 15, and then one, oh, let's color a different color. Um, maybe a purple. And then um, this one makes 20. So in this is $20. This binder has been a lifesaver. If I did not have money set aside for all the holidays, which for me, holidays are what makes life exciting, spending time with your family, doing little sweet things for them. If I didn't have the money for this in this binder, I would be having to pull from my grocery fund or miscellaneous or all the different areas of my life. And I have a big family. So this binder is super important. And this binder is connected to joy and to great memories. So if you don't have a holiday binder or a binder for special occasions or days that are important to you, please get one. It will take the stress out of being able to come up with items for special days and it just makes the day feel so good because you have the money to experience what you want to experience. So that's my little plug for a holiday binder. And you can find these little trackers at our Etsy shop and they were made by my daughter-in-law. So there should be 20. Let's count it. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty dollars in this. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go back to Girl Power and let's add some more money. Move these around. Oh, I zipped it up. You know, let's just slide this over. Okay, let's go back to Girl Power. Go to our March Girl and let's add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have two extra dollars. I'm just going to put aside. Let's add this 10. So now this Girl Power envelope should have $50, which isn't a bad start. My goodness, I feel like we're doing a good job. Okay. So there we go. Awesome. All right, everyone. Well, that is everything for today. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. And I hope that you get to spend time doing some things that... Um, will replenish you for the new week that will be coming up. I hope you take some time to think of all the things you should be grateful for. And I just want you to know how grateful I am for you. I hope all of you have a fabulous weekend. I will see you on Monday for our mini savings challenge day. All right, everyone. Love you all. See you Monday. Bye.